Good afternoon, my dear ones, and welcome to the Stations of the Cross on a Good Friday afternoon here at the Church of St. Sebastian in Providence. We walk the way of the cross, an ancient devotion for those who could not make their way to Jerusalem to walk the Via Dolorosa. We walk it today with all the intentions deep within our hearts. I'd recommend to all of you to pray for all those for whom we have promised to pray. But I also recommend to you in a particular way all those who are confined to nursing homes and hospitals whose families cannot visit them. The pain of this separation on this day becomes even more profound. Particularly, let us pray for Timothy Bryan, the husband of one of our parishioners who is in Tahuatl and nobody can visit him, and also for one of our friars who is in a nursing home where they have just found out that several staff members and two patients have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. We bring everything that we are to the Lord. Thank you for praying with us. salvation, life, and resurrection. Let us pray. O God, through the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, you showed us the path to eternal glory by the way of the cross. As we now follow him by our prayers to the place of Calvary, may we also share in his victory over sin and death and be received into his kingdom for all eternity, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Sing of seven footed friends. Who was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one? Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs 
of her dying glorious Son. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by your Lord, holy cross Lord, you have redeemed the world. In the morning, the chief priests, elders, scribes, and the whole council, finding Jesus, led him away and took him to Pilate. And they all condemned him, saying, He is guilty of death. We have found this man saying that he is Christ the King. And Pilate, sitting in the place of judgment, handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God spared not his only son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you came down upon earth from the glory of the Father in heaven and shed your, your precious blood for the remission of our, our sins. sins. We humbly pray that on the day of judgment you may find us worthy to be placed at your right hand and to hear your words, come, blessed of my Father. This we ask of you now, living and reigning, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us give this, us this day our Lord. daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our Lord. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, is, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. of his people, he has stricken him. Let us pray. Lord, you once said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Grant that we may be so faithful to carry it as to obtain your saving grace. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. A cup of sorrow drinking would not share her sorrows deep. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point of death, even to death on the cross. That is why God exalted him above every creature and gave him a name that is above all other names. Come, let us adore and bow down and worship before God. Let us leap in the presence of the Lord who made us. For he is indeed the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our infirmities. And he has carried our sorrows. Well, let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, when we confess that we are weak, and that we, we often fail in the midst of trials and sufferings, through the merits of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son, give us new courage and hope. This we ask in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what shall I compare you? Or to what shall I liken you? Virgin God of Jerusalem. For gracious is he is who is distressed. O Mother of mercy, grant that we may always realize in ourselves the debt that sees us and share with him in his saving sword of sorrow has pierced your soul, and has filled your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, at the hour of your cruel death on the cross, a sword of sorrow pierced the grieving soul of the Virgin Mary, your mother, and may she plead for clemency on our behalf, now and at the hour of our death. This we ask you, living and reigning forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
of wars without end. Amen. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Cannot be my disciple. Accept our prayers and sacrifices, and be moved to have mercy on us. Strengthen us in our weakness, so that our rebellious wills may yield to your divine will in all things. We ask of you, Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. She beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges red. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Draw not from your servants in your anger. Renew us according to your own image and likeness, through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your Son. Guide our footsteps in your paths, that we may truly experience the gift of your divine charity. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Walks in desolation till his earthly life is spent. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Approach of men and the outcast of the people. By the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up our fallen world. Grant your faithful people abiding peace and joy. Deliver us from the perils of eternal death and guide us to eternal happiness in heaven. This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In my heart each wound renew Of my Savior crucified Share with you his pain Who for all my sins was slain Who for me in torments died Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. rather to have mercy, to be angry with those who put their hope in you. Grant us your grace, 
that we may truly grieve and make amends for the evil we have done, and thus obtain the gift of your heavenly consolation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. as a lamb before the shearer. By your ever-present mercy and goodness, without your help, we cannot overcome the evil that beckons us because of our weak human nature. Without you, we shall surely fall. Help us to avoid all that is sinful, and guide our steps the way of all that is profitable for our salvation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. There with you to weep and pray, this I ask of you to give. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It came to the place that is called Golgotha, or Calvary, the place of the cross. There they gave him wine to drink mingled with gall. He tasted it, but could not drink. They divided his garments among them by the common lot. And thus was fulfilled what the prophet had said. They divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. 
and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Of our former self with its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with that newness of nature which you have created in justice, holiness, and truth. This we ask of you, living and reigning forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief and pain. by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Having arrived at the place called Calvary, they crucified him there, and with him two thieves, the one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus in the middle. My people, what have I done to you? I exalted you with great power, and you have hanged me They have numbered all my bones. O God, by the sacred passion of your only begotten Son, and by the five wounds in which his blood was poured, you repaired the evil wrought by sin in human nature. As we on earth revere the wounds which he received, we pray that in heaven we may experience the fruit of his most precious blood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In my body bear the death of your risen Son once slain. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother at the foot of the cross and standing near her, the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. After that, he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Having tasted the vinegar, Jesus said, it is finished. Then crying in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands. 
even to death on the cross. Son of the living God, at the sixth hour you mounted to the cross for the redemption of the world and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly beg that after our death we may enter with joy the gates of paradise. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Our Father's life in heaven, thou wilt be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. At this holy cross requite me, let his blood refresh me there. The thirteenth station. Jesus is placed in the arms of his dark women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O oh, you who pass by the way, look and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth, as I behold the cruel death of my son, for the enemy has prevailed against me. Call me not my own, that is beautiful. But call me Mara, that is, bitter. For the Almighty has afflicted me and has dealt quite bitterly with me. Tears are on her cheeks. And there is none to comfort her. Let us pray. At your passion, Lord Jesus, as Simon had foretold, a sword of sorrow pierced the sweet soul of Mary, glorious Virgin Mother, as we now reverently recall her bitter anguish and suffering. Grant that we may obtain the blessed fruits of your redemption. This we ask of you, who are living and reigning forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. At the judgment day, defend ye, gentle virgin, with your prayer. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because 
by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate ordered it to be given to him. Having taken the body down from the cross, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in a rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not leave my soul in the memory, nor will you let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you left, left us, us a record of your passion in the Holy Shroud, wherein Joseph wrapped your sacred body when it was taken down from the cross. In your mercy, grant that through your death and burial, we may experience the glory of your resurrection. This we ask of you now, living and reigning forever. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Be your mother my defense, be your cross my sacrifice. While my body here decays, may my soul your goodness praise. Dearest brothers and sisters, Christianity is above all a way of seeing. Everything else in the Christian life flows from and circles around the transformation of our vision. And today, at this moment, our vision and the vision of all history is transformed and transfixed by what we behold. Love, so amazing, so divine, it gives its all for his creation. While not all will believe, and even those who do believe, struggle to continue to see and understand the complete and absolute enormity of this love which gives his life away, that we might live. We are fixed upon his cross. Scripture scholars will tell us that all of the gospel are passion narratives with a very long introduction. It is the passion it, that it is in the Passion that we come to the heart of Christ's mission. And when we see how Christ longed to change the world and our lives and for his Father and the Father's kingdom. St. Leo the Great writes, 
there was no other reason for the Son of God being born than he might be fixed to a cross. So today, as in just a few moments, we will sing, Behold the wood of the cross, on which has hung the Savior of the world. We come to his moment. This is his hour. This is the hour for which he was born, the hour for which he came to earth, and the hour for which he has longed. In, his, in this, his hour, and from his unlikely throne, <clears throat> what does he want to transform in you and in me? Let us look, I'm sorry, let us look to his cross and see. First of all, from the cross there is a light. <coughs> it is the promise of the glory that will mercifully be ours in the kingdom of heaven. But it is also the light to shatter the darkness, the darkness of our lives. <coughs> the light does not take away the challenges but gives us the faith and courage and hope to walk through the challenges and come through these shadows transformed. What does the light of the cross shine upon in you and me today? What will be different about Holy Week 2021 than Holy Week 2020? Will it simply be the time that we bemoan that we had to go through all of the social media to pray? Or will the light from the cross truly change and transform us? Can the light, will the light, and it will, from the cross transform our grief, our illness, my illness or the illness of somebody I love? Will the light of Christ shining upon from that cross transform the resentments that I have in my life? Will the light of Christ transform the way I view the fact that I'm aging? And that genuflecting at stations isn't something that I can easily do anymore. Or how many times a day do you or I forget a word? How will the light of Christ shine upon the reality that this isn't what I planned? This is not the way I thought my life would be. But it is the way my life is. And my life cannot be there unless Jesus is there too. And his light, the light from his cross, <clears throat> longs to transform all. From the cross there is a word, and that word is truth. Christ was completely true to his word and his mission. There are so many voices which clamor for our attention. Only one is true. Listen to him. We can block the truth in so many ways. Our judgmentalism, our refusal to change, our Gnostic revelations by which I have the perfect way and the rest of you are just stumbling along. We, are, we can be lulled by the voice that causes us to turn our back on tradition and 
think that modernity and a soft creed will help us. In the words of Cardinal George, soft creed, fake church. Will the truth un, will the truth unhinge that greatest lie that I'm a small person, incapable of anything great or difficult? Will you and I learn to face the truth that we really don't fear failure, we fear our success. And fearing our success, we stay locked in addictions, in playing it safe, and in looking for that perfect And from the cross, there is a name given, and that name is love. We've all been in a mad pursuit to find love. We will run anywhere, spend anything, endure pain for love, and yet we are searching. Today from the cross, Christ speaks gives and shows the love for which we long. Today, from the cross, Christ embraces us in his arms, in the healing arms of the cross, to envelop us in the unconditional love for which we so long, and yet from which you and I run so mightily. But Christ didn't suffer this love on his own, as in all things. He offers, a, offers it in the Father. Today, the heart of God the Father breaks with love. Love for his Son on the cross, and, the, and love for those for you and for me, for whom his son dies, and for whom his son longs. What is the loving name God gives to you and to me today from the cross? Beloved, Christian, son, daughter, redeemed, Hear him speak your name. And as he speaks your name, he brings you to the truth of our lives and of each of our lives individually. And as he speaks your name, he brings you from any darkness you have into the light. The light that no darkness can ever, over, ever overcome. The light that no darkness can extinguish. The brilliant light that shines in the night and will never be dimmed. The morning star that rises time and time again. But when you look at this light and this truth and this name of love, we may say, I, I can't go there. I can't do it. But we've had an answer all the way along. The one who walked with him. The one who saw her son betrayed and crucified. The one whose words we just heard in the Stations of the Cross, call me not Naomi, but, which is beautiful, but call me Mara, which is bitter. And yet moments later, she will take John, and from John, all of us, into her heart as her children. Go to Mary. Go to Mary that we may find the light 
light to which Christ is calling us. Go to Mary, that we may know the word, the word of truth that Christ gives us. And let us go to Mary, that we may hear from the lips of her beloved Son upon the cross. Our name, a name which is love, and like his own, becomes a name above all other names. My greatest prayer as we go through these days is that the light and the truth and the love of Christ's cross will change us in such a radical way that Holy Week 2021 will be filled with all those who long to be wrapped in the arms of the Savior. God bless you. Oh.